Welcome back. News in 6. School officials are continuing to develop classes at Fort Madison High School designed to put graduates to work in Lee County. Officials showed those classes to Congressman Dave Loebsack today. WGEM's Brett Neese reports. Today, Fort Madison school officials taking Congressman Dave Loebsack to several different classrooms, including an auto class, along with welding and family and consumer sciences. He's seeing that we're making an investment, not only financially, but with, with students' time and staff time to do that. And uh, it's just critical for, for folks in at Washington to know. Loebsack says he can take what he saw back to Washington to fight for continued funding for career technical programs. If we don't have enough funding going in, it's not a sufficient condition for success, but it is necessary. And, you know, we're, these, these programs aren't going to survive without funding. And, and so we've got, everybody's got to recognize that. And Loebsack says it's important that schools like Fort Madison continue to grow career technical programs because the job market has shifted. That's where, you know, uh, some of the education uh, that people are getting here in automotive, you know, yeah, it's not like just changing oil or taking apart engines or something like that. It's knowing about the electronics, too. Continuing to develop their programs is something Principal Smith says they are doing with help from the community, which is a way to keep people from moving out of the area. We work really closely with all of our business and industry partners. They keep us apprised of, okay, I've got these kinds of jobs open. Could, could you have some kids come and talk to me about this? They might be interested in it, whatever. So we try to let them know what's here. Brett Neese, WGEM News, Fort Madison. Loebsack says they generally have bipartisan support for funding of this type of education, but working with the Trump administration on it is sometimes challenging, he says. A Quincy six-year-old is holding a fundraiser.